Guess which response I hear most from machine and plant manufacturers when consulting on technical solutions. Oh, please don't suggest adhesives, they never work. But I'm gonna suggest them anyway, because I'm sure you don't know all of the potential ways you can use adhesives to repair damaged components. If a machine absolutely has to keep running and you can't afford to wait two to three weeks for a new component, then your only option is to repair it. Plastic metal products are often used in combination with our wear and abrasion resistance range. These I've already presented to you in a previous video. I would now like to show you which epoxy resin systems are suitable for this purpose. I'm gonna give you a few examples. Let's start with some small stuff. If you want to repair small cracks, holes or leaks, our epoxy repair sticks are the perfect solution. Simply mix the two components together until you have a homogeneous mixture. Then apply a piece in the appropriate size to the hole, leak or crack. We have repair sticks especially made for the repairs of metal components. These contain fillers of steel or aluminium particles. They're a great help when repairing containers, tanks, housings or pipes. And after they've cured, they're as hard as steel. If you wish to additionally seal a leaking pipe, then use one of our repair tapes. They're available also in different sizes, or with a repair stick, as in our pipe repair kits. Knowledge gained from your last first aid course can be usefully applied here. After applying the bandage, it should look like this. However, when it comes to the really large damages on pipelines, for example, a tape like this is no longer enough. Then you need something more substantial. One of our customers in Ecuador once had a similar case to this with extreme damages on an oil pipeline. Nearly a ton of our HP 300 epoxy was used for this repair. The advantages of this solution, HP 300 is pasty, can be applied on vertical surfaces, it's non-drip, and the repair could be carried out quickly. This is exactly the kind of issue I was talking about at the beginning of the video. A simple and fast solution was required. The pipelines could not simply be dismantled and the production process could not be interrupted. Damage to pipes is often caused by corrosion as a result of adverse environmental conditions. To repair this damage and protect the pipe in the long term, it's very useful to build up a large layer of plastic metal. You also need thick layers if you wish to restore the exact dimensions of a component. This can be easily demonstrated with this drive shaft. The damage here was caused by abrasion. And what was the solution? First, Vicon HB300 was applied with a layer of approximately five millimeters. Then it was machined down to the desired size. With this quick repair solution, we saved our customer roughly 8,000 euros instead of buying a new component. In another customer application of ours, a repair was carried out on a four-way valve using our Vicon A, and then machined down afterwards. Damage to components is not always caused by corrosion and abrasion, but also cavitation. This is often the case with pumps or propellers, for example. But even then, the lost material can still be rebuilt. Here you can see a nice combination of a repair solution and our wear protection coatings. With the help of Vicon ST, which is filled with stainless steel particles, the damaged material could be rebuilt. This, in combination with the mineral-filled ceramic BL, provides a strong and additional protection against cavitation. I've presented a range of repair solutions here today, and in fact, for pretty much any damaged machine or component, we have a solution. Whether caused by corrosion, abrasion or cavitation, and regardless of if the damage is small or large, we'll work together with you and find a solution. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us, and as always, stick at it.